see everybody. Got this from Abby. We saw her here. She's battling cancer and doing great, doing amazing. Got her wristband. The squish will squash this. Team Abby, so check it out. Um, a lot of great kids here, football team over there going crazy. Did Lamar just come out or something? Is that what happened? Wow, that's awesome. So uh, we're having a lot of fun. Hot day, uh, tough day acclimation wise, but I thought the guys fought through it really well. And uh, had a lot of good plays on both sides. Offense was you know, progressively getting sharper and uh, we're working hard. So had a couple things, you saw Linderbaum go off, he's gonna be fine. Uh, and then we, we did have a, a, an injury that's gonna be disappointing. Um, in terms of Vince Beagle, he did Terry's Achilles. Uh, just, just in a two-on-two -two drill and just leaned the wrong way. And for Vince, I mean, he's a veteran guy. It's his third season-ending injury in three years. You know, New Orleans, Miami, and now here. So that's really unfortunate for him. So we'll be, we'll be with him for that journey. Okay, what questions do you have? Coach, um, I like Zay Lake. Isaiah Legler looked pretty good in his red zone drills. What's your question? Isaiah about? looked really good in his red zone drills. I agree with you 100%, Todd. He had two back-to-back -back touchdown catches there against tight man coverage, and he was uh, he was gassed. I mean, he was he was fighting through the heat. He was really winded, and he still came up and made the play. That was impressive. That came from Dr. Tucker, uh, our team doctor. Uh, with this heat, he felt like that uh, be a, like a simulation of halftime try to bring the body temperatures down. So um, players were like, they, they weren't so thrilled about it, the ones I talked to, because they want to just, they want to keep going and get it done. But uh, you know what, I think it was a smart thing to do, and uh, we respect that, we respect the, the heat. Guys are working hard, so that's what we did. No, only on a day like this. I mean, it was just 100 degrees or something like that today, so that was the idea today. Was the Q&A with the fans impromptu, or was that sort of play? <laughs> impromptu, impromptu, and I'll, I'll tell you, Impressive. I mean, impressive questions. You know, Chad felt like, you know, they were high level. Like he was a, I didn't, I didn't want to say it, but you might have some potential over there, especially the kids, you know, they had some tough ones. Yeah, he's be fine. Yeah, I just kind of just stepped on kind of just, it's, it's a physical drill there. And, uh, came up a little sore. Uh, they've looked at it, x-rayed it. I mean, they'll do an MRI on it to make sure, but uh, all indications are it's, it's, not, it's nothing serious at all. Yeah, I mean, we, we don't really have a linebacker death. I mean, Vince was fighting to make the team, and I, you know, I think he would have had a great chance to make it because he's, he's just a solid, tough, talented guy. He does everything exactly right as hard as he can. So um, that's where we're at. I don't know. Good question. Well, really valuable. You know, Juwan, as you know, has is is been a right tackle. And uh, he switched to left tackle throughout the camp. And with Ronnie now practicing, and we got a, we got a quite a few right tackles. You know, we need a left tackle. And for him to go over there and do that and do a good job is really important. I mean, I can't wait to see him in the game. He hadn't played football for a while. So to see him out there with the physicality is going to be really Really important, but really important for him just to get back at it. They're, they're they're doing really well. There's really no update with time. I mean, I think you know we're kind of on a the trajectory for Ronnie and Marcus to wait a little bit. That's not going to be anything in the next week. We're not in a hurry with those two guys, but they're doing really well. J.K. is a little more of a hurry because he's making it a hurry. You know, he wants to get back out there. Uh, so we'll look at it again Monday and see where we're at Monday. And maybe he starts doing something uh, like individual. Maybe not. It'll be up to the docks. So Gus is a little further out. Ba Bowser is, yeah. <laughs> sometimes he is, sometimes he's not. You know what I mean? He, but he's, I, the thing about Tyus is he's so conscientious. You know, he wants to be perfect, and that's what you appreciate. So he's kind of on that same thing. We don't have to have him back right now. So let's just let him keep getting stronger for now. To me, it's exactly the point, Kyle. You know, the fact that we know that the guys have a baseline level of conditioning, to put them out here on a day like that, we feel secure in doing that, you know. And then, and then you just get stronger. I mean, you, you build calluses. You callus up 
you callous up psychologically, you callous up with your ability to process oxygen through your lungs and your muscles. All those things in this heat, it's, uh, it's, it's you know, you get stronger, you know, and you can't get stronger unless you push yourself and challenge yourself. So uh, that's exactly the point. I was. I mean, I felt like, you know, yesterday, honestly, it was it was good, but I thought it was sloppy at times. It's probably 40 percent good, 60 percent sloppy yesterday. Today was much, much crisper on both sides of the ball. Jonas, I do. I mean, I, I feel like, you know, you see him bend that edge and, like you said, get small as he turns a corner. It's a, it's a highly freakish thing to do. You know, there's not many that can do that. So he's shown quite a few times out here, as you're, as you're pointing out, that he's able to do that. So, I mean, man, I'm all for it. You know, that's a pretty impressive pass rush, edge move. Everybody good? All right, thanks a lot. Appreciate it.